the interstellar visitor, Free Eye Atlas, that uh, uh, was discovered back on July 1st, uh, 2025, this year. The feed went dark. On October 2nd, 2025, humanity's eyes on Mars, from rovers to orbiters, all pointed at a single spot in the sky. They were watching 3 Eye Atlas, the third known visitor from another star system, make its closest pass. But then an eerie silence fell. The promised flood of high-definition data never came. Now, the one man who predicted this, Harvard's Avi Loeb, is explaining the chilling reason behind this media blackout. The principal investigator of that the camera said that he, he cannot communicate the information to the public because of the government shutdown. Now, that of course raises some uh, concerns that maybe they know something and do not want to let us know about it. He claims the information is classified, not for scientific reasons, but because of what the object represents and what it might be capable of. The Starborn Enigma. They say the universe is mostly empty space, but you see, that's not entirely true. It's filled with whispers, echoes of creation, and every now and then, a traveler. For centuries, we thought we were an island, a lonely solar system in a vast cosmic ocean. Then came the ghosts. First, in 2017, there was Oumuamua, a bizarre, cigar-shaped object tumbling end over end, moving as if propelled by an unseen force. Then came Borisov, a more familiar-looking comet, but one born under a different sun. And now, there is 3I Atlas. Discovered on July 1st, 2025, this third interstellar visitor is different. To put it mildly, it's the one that has everyone spooked. And no one has been watching it more closely than Avi Loeb. Loeb, the head of Harvard's astronomy department, is not your typical academic. While his colleagues scan the heavens for radio signals, Loeb looks for physical objects, cosmic breadcrumbs left by other civilizations. Many people are crazy about his theories, calling him a modern-day Galileo, while others in the scientific community dismiss him as a showman. But the thing nobody tells you is that Loeb has an uncanny habit of being right. He predicted the detection of gravitational waves decades before it happened. So when he says 3i Atlas is not just another comet, the world should probably listen. The most shocking fact is its behavior. It began to glow to show signs of a coma or gas cloud when it was over 550 million miles from the sun. That's way too far out for water ice to turn to gas, which is what makes normal comets light up. This thing was activating early, as if powered by something more exotic. It was also huge, estimated to be anywhere from 3 to 12 miles in diameter, an absolute behemoth moving at over 62,000 miles per hour. Its trajectory was another wow factor entirely. It was a 1 in 500 rarity, perfectly aligned to swing by not just the Sun, but also Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, like a tourist on a grand tour of our solar system. A path so precise, it felt almost deliberate. But its origin is what truly sends a chill down the spine. It came from the direction of the constellation Cassiopeia, but its path through our solar system is a statistical nightmare. It's tilted 60 degrees from the galactic plane, a cosmic outlier. Loeb and his team calculated the odds of a natural object following this exact planet-buzzing trajectory. The number they came up with? Less than 1%. And as this strange visitor set its sights on its first destination, Mars, the world's most powerful eyes prepared to get their first good look. What they saw, or what they were told not to see, is what started the cover-up. But what could be so important that it had to be hidden? Eyes Wide Shut, October 2nd, 2025. This was the date circled on calendars at NASA, the European Space Agency, and space observatories around the globe. It was humanity's best ever chance to study an interstellar object up close. 3 I Atlas was scheduled to make its closest approach to Mars, a mere 30 million miles away. On the surface, the Perseverance and Curiosity rovers were programmed to point their cameras to the sky. In orbit, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and MAVEN were poised to capture stunning, high-resolution imagery and spectral data. For a brief moment, Mars would become our forward operating base for observing an alien artifact. Everyone was expecting a flood of incredible pictures. Instead, they got a trickle, then silence. In the days following the flyby, an apparent media blackout descended. 
The space-watching community, usually buzzing with new images and data points, was eerily quiet. NASA released a single, blurry, long-distance shot from Perseverance showing a fuzzy dot. They claimed that processing the high-resolution data would take time, that it needed to be cleaned of cosmic ray interference and other noise, but to many this felt thin. You see, this is not how these things usually work. When the James Webb Space Telescope took its first images, NASA released them almost immediately to worldwide fanfare. This time, the silence was deafening. This is where Avi Loeb stepped back into the spotlight. On his popular blog, he began asking the hard questions. He detailed the growing list of anomalies that made 3 i Atlas so strange. It wasn't just its early activation or its improbable orbit, it was its light curve, the way its brightness fluctuated. It didn't tumble like Oumuamua, nor did it have a clear, bright tail like Borisov. It pulsed. Furthermore, its trajectory showed tiny, almost imperceptible deviations, hints of non-gravitational acceleration. It wasn't just coasting, it seemed to be making minor course corrections. What many overlooked is that these are the exact signs Loeb predicted we would see from an extraterrestrial probe. The whispers began online. X, formerly Twitter, lit up with speculation. People started asking Loeb directly, were there other eyes on 3i Atlas? eyes that we, the public, don't know about? The U.S. Department of Defense operates a network of incredibly powerful top-secret satellites. Their job isn't to look at distant galaxies, but to watch our own planet and the space around it for threats. These systems, like the space-based infrared system, can detect the heat signature of a dime from hundreds of miles away. It is inconceivable that they were not pointed directly at this massive high-speed object entering our neighborhood. The data they collected would not be blurry, it would be crystal clear, and of course, it would be 100% classified. The reason for the secrecy wasn't scientific, it was a matter of defense. The Pentagon's Secret Let's talk about energy. The thing nobody tells you about objects moving at 62,000 miles per hour is the sheer force they carry. 3i Atlas, with a mass potentially exceeding a trillion tons, was carrying more kinetic energy than all the nuclear weapons on Earth combined. If an object like that were to strike a planet, it would be an extinction-level event, pure and simple. It would make the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs look like a firecracker. And you can see this everywhere in the logic of planetary defense. The entire mission of NASA's DART spacecraft, which successfully nudged an asteroid in 2022, was based on this terrifying reality. Now, consider the implications. An object with an unnatural orbit showing signs of course correction and carrying world-ending energy enters our solar system. Is that a scientific curiosity, or is it a threat? To the Pentagon, the answer is obvious. It is a potential threat until proven otherwise. Every military on Earth operates on this principle. You don't assume a high-speed, unidentified object heading for your home is friendly. You prepare for the worst. The most shocking fact is that the silent classified observations were likely not about finding aliens, but about calculating a firing solution. Could we stop it if we had to? This is the secret Avi Loeb claims to have uncovered. The data from 3i Atlas is classified because it triggered a national security crisis. What if the object's trajectory wasn't aimed at Mars for observation, but was a braking maneuver? What if its next destination wasn't Jupiter, but a much closer, much bluer planet? The tiny course corrections could be evidence of a sophisticated guidance system. The strange glow far from the sun could be the signature of an advanced propulsion drive venting plasma. In this light, the media blackout makes perfect sense. You don't announce to the world that a potential doomsday weapon has entered your backyard, especially if you have no way to defend against it. What many overlooked is that this scenario explains the government's sudden, renewed interest in Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, or UAPS. The creation of the All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Aero, at the Pentagon, wasn't just about strange lights seen by Navy pilots, it was about creating a framework to deal with a real, tangible object of unknown origin and unknown intent. 3i Atlas may have been the first live fire drill for this new reality. The data is classified because it contains the Pentagon's complete assessment of the object's capabilities, its speed, its maneuverability, its composition, and its potential weaknesses. 
It's the most important intelligence file on the planet right now. But is this dramatic tale of a cosmic threat really the whole story? Debunking the drama. So let's step back from the edge for a moment. A lot of people watching this might be wondering if everything we've discussed means we're on the verge of some cosmic confrontation, that maybe the rumors were right, that maybe we've already crossed into the unknown. Are we missing something? The idea of a classified superweapon or alien contact hidden in plain sight is thrilling, sure, but the truth, as it often is, might be far less cinematic and far more human. It may not be a cover-up at all, but simply the messy, frustrating way science works. Avi Loeb, for all the sensational headlines, isn't on his deathbed spilling government secrets. He hasn't leaked a top-secret memo or warned of incoming destruction. What he is doing is something more subtle and, in many ways, more radical. He's doing what a real scientist is supposed to do. Notice the strange, question the ordinary, and demand that the data, all of it, be open for everyone to see. The classified information he refers to might not be sitting in a Pentagon vault guarded by armed men in black suits. More likely, it's just trapped behind layers of scientific procedure and bureaucracy. The data gathered by Mars orbiters, landers, and telescopes doesn't go straight to the public. Each team has a period, sometimes months, sometimes a year, to analyze its findings before they're released. That's standard protocol. Combine that with the sheer volume of data, terabytes upon terabytes of raw numbers, noise, and images, and you start to see how things can look suspiciously like a blackout. But in reality, it's more like a scientific traffic jam. Processing information from space isn't like scrolling through a photo album. It takes months of calibration, error correction, and review. Even small irregularities, like an odd glow or a faint change in trajectory, require hundreds of hours of cross-checking. So while conspiracy theorists see shadows and secrets, the truth may just be an overworked research team buried in spreadsheets. The real shocker might be that there's no conspiracy at all, just the slow, deliberate grind of discovery. Still, that doesn't mean the anomalies aren't interesting. They are. The mysterious early glow, it could be the result of exotic ices, frozen nitrogen or carbon monoxide that vaporize at far colder temperatures than water. The strange orbit, that could be the relic of an ancient gravitational slingshot, the result of 3i Atlas being ejected from its original star system millions of years ago. The subtle course corrections? Those could easily come from asymmetric jets of gas bursting from its surface, something we've seen happen with other comets before. From that perspective, 3i Atlas isn't an alien craft. It's a cosmic wanderer, a natural though strange visitor. A puzzle, not a threat. But puzzles can still teach us things, especially about how we react to the unknown. And that's where Avi Loeb's real argument lies. He's not saying an alien armada is lurking behind Mars or that world governments are hiding proof of extraterrestrial life. His message is more philosophical, and in some ways, more challenging. He's asking us to look at the evidence without fear, to accept that we might be wrong, that our assumptions might blind us to something extraordinary. For decades, mainstream science has built walls against anything that smells like aliens. The dominant attitude has been skepticism bordering on arrogance, a refusal to even consider that some unexplained phenomena could be artificial. Loeb calls that out. He argues that such rigidity isn't science, it's dogma. True science should be open, curious, and bold enough to question its own limits. That's why he keeps pushing for transparency for data that belongs not to a handful of researchers or government departments, but to everyone. In his view, hiding data behind walls of classification or proprietary control doesn't protect science. It weakens it. It slows progress. It keeps humanity from answering the question that has haunted us since we first looked at the stars. Are we alone? Maybe 3i Atlas is just an odd comet. Maybe it's something else. But either way, Loeb's point stands. We shouldn't dismiss the extraordinary just because it makes us uncomfortable. We should be willing to look, to question, to test, without prejudice and without fear. Because the moment we stop asking the big questions, the universe stops revealing its answers. And maybe that's the real warning here, not of invasion or conspiracy, but of complacency. The greatest danger isn't out there drifting between the stars. 
It's right here in our refusal to see. The data on 3i Atlas will eventually be released. But will we be any closer to the truth? Are we just a primitive civilization observing a galactic highway we don't understand? Let us know your thoughts below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.